match in Nimes, and that was a few years ago. She's still a strong competitor right now, but here we go with the gold medal final. And congratulations to Shimye Ji as well as Berenger Shu. Berenger doing a great job of getting to this point. Also getting to this point now for the women's gold medal match, Katuna Lorig of the United States. This will be an all-American affair here in the women's gold medal match. Katuna Lorig, who taught Jennifer Lawrence all she knows about shooting a bow and arrow. A fascinating woman who has been to five Olympic Games representing three different nations. And she is here center stage taking on one of the up and comers for the United States. And that is Mackenzie Brown out of Texas. Mackenzie Brown, who really burst upon the scene outdoors last summer for the USA. And here she is in the women's gold medal match on a Saturday night in Las Vegas. Yeah, most notably for Mackenzie Brown, she was a bronze medalist, I believe, at the Olympic test event last September. And I mean, she's a great Olympic contender for the US right now. She, it would be her first Olympics. And right now she is a potential Olympian going against a five-time Olympian. And we'll see if yeah, uh, we'll see if uh, experience against youth will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> will youth be served? But I, I mean, like it's no, it's no feed that uh, Katuna Lorg is not actually all that old either. But five Olympics, I think she started very young when she was in her teenager, teenage years, and I mean she's still a strong woman. She's still a very confident person, very, very, very adequate shooter. And I mean she's here proving that right now in the gold medal final against Mackenzie Brown. Mackenzie Brown, 20 years of age, and last summer picked up a whole bunch of medals. Picked up a bronze medal at stage four in Medellin. Was the gold medalist at stage three in Wrocław, Poland. Also won a gold medal. I think a team medal. Team medal in yeah. stage three in Wrocław as well. And started off her career with a team gold medal in Shanghai in 2014. That's a 10. Very strong shot. I think here for the crowd, it's uh, it's an all-American crowd, so it's basically who they favor more on the field of play. It's not America versus <laughs> something else. So now the 20-year-old Mackenzie Brown with back-to-back -back tens to start this party. Katuna Lorig, there was a little bit of uh, chatter on one of the radios, and you could hear it, but she uh, didn't bother her. Oh, it's uh, Katuna's a very, very fierce competitor, so I know that something like that would not affect her at all. Right now, the door is open for Katuna Lorig, who can take this opening set after that nine by Mackenzie Brown, but she matches the same score, and they split the set. And it's not like they split at a bad score. Um, I mean, 29 under this amount of pressure, under these lights. I mean, I was going down to the field earlier today, and under those lights, it's pretty bright. It's almost blindingly bright if you're coming from a, a darker part of this arena. And, um, and you know, just the pressure of standing in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's watching. You got, like, what? Oh, there's three, thousands 3, 000, here. There's 3, 3, 000, 4, 000 of, people here. Yeah, so 6,000 eyeballs looking at you at the same time. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not easy to do. Although these people make it look easy, it, it is not easy by any means. Sort of reminds me of the old boxing rings where they turned off all the uh, other lights. <laughs> and there's just those lights over the ring and you got the two competitors slugging it out here. Well, we need to uh, lower a microphone in front of the judge and get yeah. him to say, let's get ready to rumble or something. <laughs> hey, he's in town, we could get him. <laughs> so both of these archers started off with a pair of 10s and then Mackenzie Brown fired a nine. You could see the grimace on her face. It was an opportunity for Katuna Lorig, but she couldn't take full advantage of it. She would also shoot a nine on her third shot of the opening set. So they split the points and were tied at one apiece here in the women's recurve gold medal match. And since we are tied, we're going to revert back to the original shooting order, which is Mackenzie Brown shooting first. Well, that's a nine. Our TV didn't catch it, but it's nine low. So the third ranked archer in women's recurve, Mackenzie Brown starts off with that nine. But Katuna comes through, cashes in. 
Advantage Katuna Lorig right now. Mackenzie Brown trying to battle uphill right now in this second set. Mackenzie doing a nice job of shaking off that first shot, which was a nine. But right now, Katuna Lorig dialed in. Still has the advantage in this set, leading by a point in this set. And now another nine by Mackenzie Brown really has put her in a tough spot. It's unfortunate because that is just out. It's not even a hair width out. And no that's doubt a about that. Perfect 30 for Katuna Lorig and giving her three set points to Mackenzie's one set point and a two set point advantage for Katuna Lorig. And Mackenzie Brown will be shooting first when we resume. Taking a look at the path that Katuna Lorig took to get to this gold medal match. She defeated Gwendolina Sartori of Italy in the 1-8th round. Then Jin Yun of Korea in a shoot-off in the quarterfinals before defeating Berenger Shu 6-5 in the semifinals. She won that shoot-off by the score of 9-8. Mackenzie Brown. Mackenzie defeating Aida Roman in the 1-8 round, 6-2. Survived her quarterfinal match with Sophie Planix, 6-4. And then defeated Shimye Ji, 6-2 in the semifinals. So that's how both of these archers got to this gold medal match here tonight in Las Vegas in the Prefert Pavilion in the South Point Hotel and Casino. Down 3-1. Kenzie's first arrow is at 10. I think it's in. It's on the line. Needed a good start here in the third set, trailing 3 1 in the match. Tuna Lorig with the lead. That's a nine. That's a solid, unfortunate nine for Katuna Lorig. That's a Kenzie. Removes all doubt with that shot. No asterisk needed. That's a very good shot from Katuna. It'll almost be an inside out X if there was an X ring on there. Brown may be leading by one, but she cannot assume that. That's a nine. Ooh, veers off course. So this is an interesting scenario right now. Mel Nichols, her coach. That's right on the line. So right now it looks like Mackenzie's Brown, Mackenzie Brown's first arrow is a nine asterisk, but scoping it from where I am, it looks like it's touching that line. I, uh, that should be a 10. It should be a 10 from my angle, but again, the spotters will play it safe and call that lower than what it's supposed to be because it's so much better to get a get a point out of it instead of losing a point. But you can she's see. She's got her fingers crossed right now. She needs that to be a 10. Yes, she does. If it's a 10, they'll split and go to four to two. And we're seeing what they're putting down range right now. And it is four to two. So they split that set. And Mackenzie Brown will be shooting first again. So now she can exhale <laughs> after finding out that was a 10 instead of a nine. And she's only down by two. Otherwise, she was looking at a four point deficit, five one. Instead, it is 4-2. She's still very much alive and in this match. And we'll go first here in the fourth set. And the gold medal match, Katuna Lorig, Mackenzie Brown, the two U.S. archers here in Las Vegas at the fourth stage World Cup Tour indoors. That's just outright. A recurve archers right now, it's the tension in your fingers that you have to sort of pay attention to. Just because the amount of tension that you have will change if you're nervous or if you're uptight or if you're stressed out. And that's what's going to cause left and right arrows. It's just the way that string is leaving your fingers. If it doesn't leave it exactly the same way or um, the most consistent way that you could possibly do, then it's going to have that left and right effect. And that, unfortunately, I think that's what's happening with McKenzie right now. There's momentum for both of these arches. For McKenzie, it's been mo momentum headed in the wrong direction, although she got it back there with a beautiful shot. And a nine to win for Katuna. For the match, 
for the gold medal, Katuna Lorig. Got it on the line. That's a 10, and she wins it by the final score of 6 to 2. Katuna Lorig is your gold medalist in Las Vegas. And a big congrats to Katuna Lorig. I mean, like, she's, uh, I don't think she's had the summer that she wanted to have. So this is a great win for her for this for this winter. And Mackenzie Brown, unfortunately, having to settle for silver, but still, it's a silver medal at the World Cup indoor final. So it's nothing to bat an eye at. And congratulations to both these women. But there it is, your five-time Olympic medal, uh, five-time Olympian, Katuna Lord coming home with the gold medal at the Indoor World Cup. Katuna really putting on a clinic here tonight, just watching the way she conducted herself, the way she handled herself throughout that match, the confidence that she exuded, and also the focus, a laser focus she had throughout the entire match. I remember watching her in 2008 when that was my first Olympics, and when she walked onto the field, she didn't bat an eye. Well, I couldn't see her eyes. They were behind sunglasses. <laughs> but I'm willing to bet she didn't bat an eye. She didn't crack a smile. There was no emotion whatsoever. If she shot well, her face was just absolutely stoic. If she shot bad, it was exactly the same thing.